Hello, I'm Vanessa and I run several jewelry courses in London and today we're going to make some jewelry. In this video, I will show you how to make a hemp necklace. What you will need is some hemp string, a tool, a big round tool. I'm using a doming tool, but you could use a piece of wood, you could use any kind of kitchen implement and you will need some beads with very big holes. The holes should be big enough to go through the hemp string. Also, you will need some sort of vise. Um, this you can purchase at a hardware shop. This is a fairly big one, but you could use a very small table vise. The string you will need needs to be double the length of your necklace. I'm making a very not long necklace and I have doubled the string. As we will be doing knotting, it requires lots of extra string. To start off, the end, I've lined up the strings together. I have the two ends together. I'm going to put one bead inside one of the strings and knot the two strings together. So the first knot here, again I'm going to take both strings and knot it together. So it's a simple overhand knot, like that. And I use my finger, the knot is fairly loose, I use my finger to push the knot together tightly so that it's close to the bead. So once you've knotted the two strings together above that first bead, you wrap it around your doming punch, pulling it tightly, ensuring that your knot is sitting in the middle of your doming punch or your whatever tool you are using. And on the other side, you take the string on the right. For me, it's my blue string pass it under the string on the left, which is the purple string, bring the blue string over the purple string, and then it goes back under the blue string again on the right. Pull that through, this is called an overhand knot. Pull it tightly, and make, use your fingers to push the knot quite tightly together. Now on the purple string, that's probably the most difficult part about making this bracelet is the first knot. I'm going to thread in a bead. You could put in as many beads as you wish. I'm using one bead for this particular one. And I'm going to knot above the bead, the same exact knot that's repeated. The blue string, the one on the right, goes under the purple, then over, and then into this loop. Again, I'm applying a lot of tension on the, my left string, using my fingers to push the knot very tightly to the bead. Making another knot. You can make as many knots as you wish. I'm going to make three knots. And I'm going to thread in another bead. I'm using the punch to, to give me some gaps in between the beads. So I'm going to make another knot, the same exact knot as I've been doing. Again, the beads need to sit in the middle of the, the doming punch. I'm making three knots. I'm going to continue to thread three beads. Just one bead. I've made three knots below that last bead. I'm going to slip this out again. I'm creating a pattern so that you will have three beads, a gap, three beads, a gap, and another three beads. Okay, I've made three, have three beads. So now you would repeat the same pattern until you reach your desired length. And the pattern again is you have three beads, you leave a space, which the dowel pin gives you the space. So if you want to have a smaller gap in between, a smaller circle, 
you could use a smaller tool. If you want to have a larger circle, then use a larger tool. So have space, three beads, space, three beads, and you could repeat that throughout. And that's how you make a hand necklace.